Hey, what's going on guys? It is MaxF here, and today we're going to be doing another video on the MaxF server. This is episode, um, 12 on the MaxF server. Um, this is insane. I've been working on, this is not an episode anymore. No, it's not an episode. It is a mega, mega-sode. So, um... I've built something mega. It took me weeks. And if you're wondering how I did this for weeks, it's because, you know, in the last uh, Max Shaft episode, episode 11, I actually have been, like, working on this secretly, and I really had to, like, try to hide it. It was really hard. And you know how I didn't post for a while? It was because of microphone problems and shipping and stuff, because I need to get new stuff. I was actually working on that while I couldn't record videos. So this has taken me, this has taken me such a long time. So many materials, so many diamonds have been into this. But it was all worth it in the end. So let's go check it out. Alright guys, so I'm here. And once I press F5, you will be amazed at this. I've been working on this for so long. It's finally finished. Three, two, one. That's right. This is it. Maxmart. This is the new best-selling best selling shop in the shopping district. As you can see right there, it says Max Mart. This thing is massive, and it took me a long time to make. Now, if you're wondering what this redstone is, it's just noobs redstone. Um, it's a fireworks show for when the grand opening is going to happen. And as you can see, this place has, like, a little canopy here for customers to go under if it's raining or something. It says Max Bar, and it has, it has really nice looks. Now, I'm just going to go in and give you a tour. So, these are the doors. It says closed, but I'm the owner of this shop, so it should be okay. So, on your left-hand side, you have food. And we have bread, steak, pork chop, golden apples, and the best golden carrots. These are the best foods ever. And then, if I just go over here... I have all of the things that we're going to be selling. So nothing, nothing, TNT, sand, redstone blocks, name tags, lanterns, item frames, gravel, nothing, glow, uh, redstone, glowstone blocks, flower pots, ender chests, empty maps, dirt, coarse dirt chests, campfire bricks, book and coils, barrels, anvils. And I've been stocking a little bit of it, but I haven't really stocked that much. And now if you just go upstairs of this building... I can go up the bubble elevator. There is, as you can see over here, there is the bundle deals. And basically, these are just really good deals. So it would be like a shulker box full of golden carrots, but it would cost like half the price if it did if you bought them from the chest. And this gold didn't actually take me that long because we have a crazy overpowered pigment farm, and that's how we get all our XP and all our gold. And then over on this side, this is every single diamond I own. Do not steal. I will know if you do. How I know is I have this book and quill right here. It says, my diamond pile, 43 blocks. And I'll always edit this whenever I take or give. And this is every single diamond I own, 43 diamond blocks. And then I have five other diamonds. That's not enough to craft an actual block. So that is a lot of diamonds. That's kind of what I want to put on display to flex. So, um, yeah, I kind of went out of my comfort zone to make this gigantic build. And it doesn't look that big, but trust me, this took stacks upon stacks of concrete, terracotta, and it was super hard to get all those quartz because quartz is super hard. Luckily, though, we reset the nether kind of recently, so it's easier. And as you can see, this thing was, like, so big that it actually took, um, like, I made most of the ground under here because how big it was. So, this thing is crazy. Like, this thing is insanely big. And it doesn't really have much detail anywhere except the front, but that's fine. I think um, the only way people are going to see it is the front. What I'm thinking is, like, Xavier will be building his stuff, or anyone else, and then they'll, like, kind of go in, and they'll just be like, alright, I need pots to detail, because I need to make something look nice, so let me see here. Ooh, campfires will be nice, bricks, uh, book and quills so I can make a lectern, and core dirt would make it look nice. And, ooh, empty maps would, I can get a map on it. You know, it's just going to be that type of thing, and everyone's going to be buying from it. So, it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, let me turn my sound up. I had it off because I was standing right next to the beacon in the start of this clip. And beacons make a lot of noise. This 
if you're wondering, is my... Another thing I've been working on in the background. This is my um, item sorter. It's not done yet, but it has a few. This is a carrot farm. And I've learned we just get um, so ridiculous amounts of like um, gold from our pigment farm that I feel like it would just be easier to use this farm than train with villagers. And if you're wondering why there's so many chickens around, I killed most of them, but Xavier laid a bunch of chickens. And in return for that prank, I pranked him back. So if I just go over to his base, you see this little thing flowing on top of it? Here, if I just go up here. If I can land on it, this might be really hard, but if I just... Come on, come on, let's go. No! Okay, well, basically, I put a bunch of chickens in here, and then he'll break it. Also, especially because Xavier has a sound off all the time for some reason, so he'll break that box, and chickens will float down, and it'll be a nightmare. Now, this is Xavier's new project, and this is... He needs so much stone for this, but he made this big thing floating. There was a thing before, but this is way bigger, and he's working on a castle made out of stone bricks. And he needs so much stone for this. And that's why I'm so rich. I used to have like 26. But because he needs so much stone, I'm becoming rich because of this. This is my stone shop. I'm actually... He just keeps buying me out. I have no more. And as you can see, um, inside of here, five diamonds not in the pile. And, um, yeah, that's really why I'm so rich. If Xavier wasn't making that castle, then I wouldn't. And he's now saying that he's in Minecraft Artist, which I don't really understand. But you know what? You do you, dude. Or you do you something. And he's just making art around the map, which are basically just these little things. Like, this is, like, one of his art pieces. This thing right here. Uh, it's mo meant to be abstract. And I don't know. I think it looks, you know, nice and stuff. But... It's kind of odd. Now, I don't know if my pigman farm has ever been shown on camera. But if it hasn't, today it will be. Now I'm in Spectator, and this is the farm. So you can see we got a bunch of nether portals. And this is why it didn't reset, because the only thing that reset is the big nether portal in the nether. And we just got nether portals all around here. We got two at a time. And basically what happens is we'll aggro one of the pigmen. They'll come out of the portals. They'll jump down. And as you see, there's a bunch of them. They'll float down here, fall through here, and then the first way we can kill them is here, and we just sit there in the entity cram. But then all the items will flip that lever, and then down here you can either kill them with your sword, or um, you can just use it to pick up the items that you entity cram them with. And as you can see, there's like essence that we've been here, of course. And down here is a system that I've made because Xavier isn't that good at redstone. Me and Xavier worked on this together because of how big it was, and, um, what it is, is all the loot goes into here, and then it all, there's an item sorter, like, from my tutorial, and then all of the raw flesh gets sorted out and gets put into here, which goes into lava, so, because raw flesh, we don't need it, we have other ways to get emeralds, clerics are not our way, and there's this giant thing to hold all our gold, but, and, like, look at how much it, this thing can hold. You might be like, Max, you'll... Whoa, I'm laggy. And you might be like, Max, you'll never get this much gold. Think again. This thing is backloaded. Like, look at this. It's back... Oh, wait. How? Oh, no. Oh, that... that That's, um... I have... Like, every time I come here, I have to add more chests because of how backloaded this thing is. Um, so that's kind of crazy. Off this video. Now, you might be like, Max, this was, like... For one, it was only, like... It was 10 minutes, which is, you know, a good amount. But you might say that um, it was like no time lapses, no anything. It was just kind of me talking. But, okay, it might have not been much for you, but this baby right here took me so long to make. I've been working on it for weeks and weeks. So maybe for you guys it wasn't that much, but for me it was a whole lot. Like, just look at how big this is. Hold up, my just audio. Look, look at this. This is so big. But I think it's time to end because this has just been enough for me. This has just been so much work. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss notifications. 
Uh, follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Also, guys, I have um, a question for you guys. Comment down below if you want me to do a world tour tour of the MaxCraft server. Because there's a lot of stuff that I just never show. Like, um, even Xavier's base, I've never really shown fully. It's really nice, actually. And, you know, there's just so much I haven't shown. I don't even think I've shown that pigman farm. We've had that pigman farm since, like, the start of the server. That was, like, our main project that we worked on. It was really hard. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the video.